All right, welcome back to Everyday Race. Today I'm doing another update on 5051 aluminum being uh, compatible with the E85 fuel. Now the reason I'm doing this test is because I bought a fuel cell for my bike made out of 5051 aluminum. And uh, I'm planning to run E85 fuel in it. After doing some research, I couldn't really find any uh, information uh, that 5051 aluminum is safe to use with the uh, E85 fuel. So I've decided to do my own test before I put the fuel, E85, in my 5051 aluminum fuel cell and then later uh, find out that it's not compatible and it would pretty much destroy my whole fuel system which is kind of pricey so I cut a small piece of it put it in the bottle and filled it up with the E85 around 16 months ago so it's been a while and should be a pretty good test so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and see if there's any damage or so let me get let me get it out. All right, so I drained all the fuel out of it because uh, if it's gonna have some damage, it's been 16 months, so it should be a pretty good test. Let's get this sucker out of there and let's see if it looks any different than it was before, 16 months ago, and. Uh, it looks exactly the same it's still hard I don't see any damage whatsoever so that's a good thing that means I can uh, I can use E85 in my 5051 fuel cell and uh, not worry about it uh, E85 destroying my fuel system so 16 months 50, 51 aluminum was sitting in a E85 and it looks just like it was before no different it's not soft it doesn't have anything missing so it's a it's a good news for me so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys all later